Post-con depression. We all know the feeling all too well. You're home after one of the most amazing weekends of your life. You met some amazing new friends, bought some amazing merch, saw some amazing cosplays, the rave was insane, the list goes on and on. And suddenly, you're back home at your job or in your classes, everyone's looking at you weird because you have an anime shirt on. The convention is over and you're understandably sad. How can you possibly readjust after such an amazing experience? How can you cope with being thrown back in the deep end of normal culture? Well, don't despair just yet. I've gone to a ton of conventions and experienced post-con depression way more than I care to admit. Along the way, I've tried tons of methods to combat this and have actually garnered a few that help a really decent amount. So here they are, the best advice I can give you on how to beat post-con depression into the pulp that it truly deserves to be. How you can turn your time post-con into something positive, something to celebrate. Let's jump in. First and foremost, you're gonna wanna remember that this doesn't have to be the last convention that you go to. Cons are happening every weekend of every month of really every year, and often a lot closer to you than you might think. All it takes is a really quick search of your location at animecons.com, which is the best website for finding anime conventions, and I'm not even sponsored. <laughs> and you can see a list of every single convention in your area. And even if none of those really work for you, you're still gonna be able to go back to this convention next year. I almost guarantee you it's going to be happening and usually at the same amount of time. Just because it's over now doesn't mean it's not going to be happening again soon, man. Find a con that works for you and go. The possibilities are nearly limitless. Next, check out the Instagram and Tumblr tags for the conventions you just left. People are more than certainly posting tons of pictures and you and your cosplay might be in them. And even if they aren't, it's still a really good chance to connect with people who were at the convention. Remember that cosplayer you saw and absolutely loved, but didn't really have the time or the confidence to maybe go up and talk to them? Now is your chance. Slide into those DMs, dude. Make friends. I can almost certainly guarantee you everyone would be happy to talk to you. Which leads me into my next point, making friends. Don't be afraid to grab people's socials when you're at the convention and hit them up when you get back. They'll be more than stoked to talk about the convention with you. They'll be more than stoked to not only talk about the convention with you, but animes you guys are watching, manga you guys are into, cartoons, video games, different things. It's the perfect way to make friends after a convention, or just in general, really. That really is one of the most amazing things about conventions. It's such a perfect melting pot of people and interests. You're gonna find someone there who would love to be friends with you and who loves exactly what you're into. Next, stay involved in the culture. Just because you're away from the convention doesn't mean you can't stay involved in anime culture as a whole. Begin a new series, read that manga you've been meaning to start for probably months now. Make cause plans, work on your current cosplay. The possibilities, once again, are nearly limitless. It helps so much to stay connected to as many parts of the culture as you can. And listen, even if you may get some weird looks, you rock that anime merch in public, dude. Like, wear it out, okay? <laughs> your Eda bag is a part of you. That Soul Eater shirt, that's yours, man. And don't let anybody tell you you can't rock it. The next point is probably the most real and important one. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep, eating right, and exercising at least occasionally. The lack of all of these massively contribute to not only normal, consistent mental disorders, but will really exaggerate post-con depression. It really doesn't help, man. When you're emotionally compromised after a convention, it's not gonna help to laze around, stay up all night, you really need to make sure you're taking care of yourself and making good decisions in both exercise and food consumption. This helps way more than I can possibly state. It's probably the most important tip in this whole video, really. So be smart, sleep well, eat right, exercise at least a little bit, dude, go jump on a trampoline. Like it's that easy, you know? You don't have to do some weird fancy pantsy cardio or whatever, you don't have to go to a gym, just, just, just walk around, you know? And finally, I think the greatest tool that I use when beating post-con depression is this simple quote. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Just because you've left the convention center doesn't mean that all those amazing times you just had didn't happen. It doesn't mean that you didn't get all those awesome compliments on your cosplay or made those awesome friends or had an amazing time at the rave or grabbed all that awesome merch, man. That was still there, you know? And don't you forget it. Celebrate this. Have a wonderful time with it, dude. And another amazing convention is truly just around the corner. 
keep that in mind. So while right now you may be pretty bummed to be home, just know your next amazing convention experience is just around the corner. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It really means the world. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, why not give it a favorite? A subscription would help a lot. More anime convention, fandom culture stuff coming super duper soon, so keep an eye out for that. I really appreciate you guys being here. Speaking of conventions, I will be at MTech this weekend, the weekend of Easter. So if you guys are gonna be at MTech, come and hit me up. I'll be wearing a TV head as I usually am. Probably have this camera too, so it's pretty hard to miss. If you have any ideas for anything else you would like to see, any video ideas, any topics you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments down below. That would help me a lot. I know that the Galaxy S10 video didn't really go over super well, so I'm gonna try not to do stuff like that anymore, unless you guys would like to see more of that. I always have ideas. And I'm sorry this is like the first video in a while that's consistent. Uh, college has been whipping me into gear, so sorry about that, but more coming super duper soon. And above all else, be safe, make good choices, have a wonderful day, peace out.